uh, it's a beautiful afternoon here in London, and I'm in an example of uh, a mini estate. Okay, uh, this particular estate is sitting on about two acre property. I'm going to show you around very soon. About two acre property and you'll have no less than 500 units probably have almost a thousand units and i want to share with you in this video how to own a mini estate and how a mini estate looks like when it's eventually developed okay i'd like you to share this video um at least 10 times on facebook on whatsapp on linkedin remember what i do is teach you how to build wealth i've done it for myself and i'm mentoring as many people who are hungry to do the same. I was born in po penury poverty, um, started our company with just $10, and I've grown it to hundreds of millions of dollars. And very soon, we're going to be hitting billions of dollars in sales uh, as a company and our worth as well. So sharing with you practically how to build wealth in the real estate sector is what I specialize in. I'm known as Africa's most influential investment coach. I'm Dr. Stephen Akintayo, live from London. So as you're joining me, tell me your name, your city, and remember, share this video at least 10 times. So this land is sitting on about two acre property. Now there are three major stakeholders on this land. So there's the freeholder. Everybody type freeholder. Okay, can you type the freeholder? Or, you know, now the free land holder is the owner of the land for life okay this person owns this land for life okay in this particular case we don't know who the person is but he owns this land for life now the second person is the leaseholder usually leaseholders are often developers okay everybody say leaseholder leaseholder there are usually developers who come to meet the freeholder for what we call a joint venture. Okay, can you type joint venture? So they come meet the original holder for a joint venture, and the goal is to say, hey, you know, you own this land. You may not have the money to build on it. We will use our money to build. Okay, and there are two usual models. Either we use our money to build and we'll keep it for 30 years, take the rent for 30 years, for 50 years, for whatever years. It depends on the negotiation, right? And then you then own the property for the rest of your life. The second model of joint venture you have is a situation where you say, okay, I'm going to build 500 units or 1,000 units. Like this is almost 1,000 units housing unit in between this entire uh, property of over two acres right and you say i will take if i'm building 1000 units i will take 700 units you the lease you the freeholder you keep 300 or i will take 600 units you the free uh, lease holder you take what you take 400 units so those are some types of the negotiation so the joint venture uh, uh, um, developer and who is now the leaseholder in some cases will then use his money and build this development you're seeing okay he will use his money and build this development and boom the person who is the original okay the freeholder becomes super stupendously rich okay just because he initially owned the land that they are building all these houses on the third you know stakeholder in a mini estate like this is the tenant okay the tenant the tenant is the cash cow of real estate deals like this everybody type cash cow the tenant is the cash cow and this is the reason why I did a video one time on TikTok and I said, you know, the reason why landlords make money in their sleep is because tenants go to work for them. The reason why landlords make money in their sleep is because tenants go to work for them. 
So when you are the tenant, you are the cash cow. You keep bringing money for those who were smart enough years ago to buy a land like this, right? Instead of buying a plot, instead of buying two plots, they bought one acre. For in the case of this example, the person bought almost 10 acre, right? All this is still part of this property, all this. So what they did is that the front part, they use it for commercial, the back part, they use it for residential. And the initial person who bought this land, who is the free holder of this land, is thinkingly rich and is passing on that wealth to his children, 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 from one generation to the other, if he knows how to manage the wealth. So when we are saying own a mini estate, what we are saying is that come and buy a large portion of land. You can buy it as a land banker. Now imagine when they bought this land where they built these houses, right? London is over uh, 1,900 years old. Okay, London is over 1,900 years old. Yeah, London. So imagine the initial freeholder, the first person to buy this soil, this land. Okay? And by the way, this is High Street, Kensington. Imagine the first person to be the freeholder of this land. This is probably a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago. Now, the initial person, when they were buying this land, this is just, I was thought, by the way, this was years, centuries ago. And that means that it wasn't developed like this. Okay? The first holder was a land banker. Everybody say land banker. Okay? What's the concept of land banking? It's the process of aggregating land for the purpose of development. Process of aggregating land for the purpose of development or investment. So the initial free uh, uh, holder of this land bought it years ago. Okay? Uh, years, years ago. And what did he do? He decided to keep it for some years and then probably sold it to the second person, to the third person, to the fifth person. Well, finally, there's the person who eventually got the developer that built this massive unit. This is over a thousand unit houses. Okay? And this is a mini estate sitting on, on barely, okay, barely five acres. You know, but not up to 10 acres. This is definitely not up to 10 acres. But the units of houses here is over a thousand. And money is just coming in for the owners. Now, who wants to own something like this? If you want to own something like this, tell me, I want to own this. I want to own this. Come on, talk to me. However, the concept here, and this is very, very important, is that you cannot wish something like this. And many of you cannot afford this. This is already, this is London okay to buy this entire mini estate and by the way they sell things like this in london where you have apartments okay that have 500 units they sell in the u.s as well the commercial real estate you buy 1000 units buy five to, that's what my mentor grand cardon does right you buy this like this 400 million pounds 200 million pounds 500 million pounds right and because of the liquidity generated there's cash flow coming in okay all those tenants are paying you money every day. So imagine you buy a land right now in Nigeria, okay, and then you buy 10 acres in a place that is not yet developed, okay, and you're buying it, let's even say you, you're buying for 200 million, and they give you opportunity to pay for one year, and you leave such a land for 10 years. 10 years later, and then you, you get a joint venture, because the place has developed, you get a partner, and then the partner builds housing unit like this and you decide to share the units together imagine the kind of wealth you are not just going to enjoy your lifetime but you're also living for the next generation you're living for the children's children this is still part of this mini estate all these things i'm showing you is still part of this mini estate okay still part of this mini estate there's of course an empty land in front of this mini estate here there's an empty land here uh, in front of this mini estate and they decide to do road around the entire place so you see I have an empty land here uh, as you can see you know maybe they'll build on it soon uh, has some valley down as you can see okay 
But this is the, this is the back side of this mini estate. And you have over a thousand, I think this is over a thousand housing, but not less than a thousand. I didn't know it was even this big. Like very massive. And you have the, you know, you have even um, gardens for the residents to, you know, with their kids to play and have a great time. So this is how to do real estate. Think big. Everybody say think big. Everybody type think big, think big. One of the biggest mistakes we do when we do real estate is not thinking big. I've seen several people do real estate business and they're not thinking big. They're not thinking, how do I do real estate in a big way? How do I invest in real estate and buy bulk instead of just buying small? Right? I can buy something massive. And if you're really serious about real estate investment, you don't think big. Don't think small, right? Because if you think, in some, usually the same amount of effort that you used to do it small is almost the same amount of effort you need to do it big, right? Uh, oftentimes the effort is the same. The same effort you need to put into small real estate deals is the same effort you need to put into what? Big real estate deals. So be smart, be creative, be, be willing to partner. Of course, you can't do it alone. You need to work with different partners. And for us at GTEx Homes, what we're preaching now is mini estates. Everybody type mini estate. We're working with many of you to start saying, how do we help you own? Now, the biggest problem oftentimes when you're buying property in Africa is omonile. I don't know if you agree with me. You're having omonile issue. In other words, you're having native landowners threatening you with all manner. Now, that's what we have them master. We are able to help you secure the land, provide security, fence it round, okay, the entire estate. So we usually buy 500 acre, you know, 100 acre, 50 acre, 100 acre, right, large piece of land. And now we are moving to even doing cities where it's even running to 500 and or more, more than 1,000 acres. And then you can buy one acre, you can buy 10 acre, you can buy 5 acre and gradually what you want to start doing uh, as a smart investor is that that's your one acre or your two acre you leave it for five ten years five ten years even if you don't have the money to develop your mini estate you can then do a joint venture with a developer and why will a developer want to put do that with you because that location you are buying will have gone up remember in real estate location location is king Everybody type location, location, location. Everybody, come on. Type location, location, location. So the same way, the reason why the developer that partner with the uh, freehold owner of this land, okay, the reason why the developer did it is because this is Kessington High Street, right? One of the most developed and most expensive part of London. So the same way when GTEx is buying property, we're buying in the right locations. We understand how to buy the right location that is developing, that has potential to become hot cake. And then you are able to buy it early and you leave it for a few years and then boom, <laughs> right? You've struck gold. This is how to build well. This is how I've done it. This is why I'm, I'm still doing it, okay? and the model continues that way even outside nigeria it's still the same model okay in dallas it's still the same model okay here in the uk same, the same model in dubai same model do bulk do big right and then over time you can then think of how to develop it don't rush into the development let the land grow because what i appreciate when it comes to real estate is the land Houses don't appreciate in value. It's the land that appreciates in value. So you want to be the one to own the debt. You want to be the one to own the land. Own the land. Because the money is in the land. The value is in the land. Not the building. It's in the land. It's the land that appreciates. It's the land that goes higher. Everybody type, I'm going to own the land. Come on, guys. Talk to me. I love your energy. And I love active energy. Everybody type, I'm going to own the land. So, the real estate money is in the land. Real estate money is in the land. Because houses always depreciate in value. 
okay houses always depreciate in value look at this now this particular mini estate see how beautiful it is see how new it is opposite it okay it's another property but it's old look at it opposite here opposite here you're seeing this property this is probably over 50 year old or 100 year old opposite this okay so what really appreciates here is not uh, you know the house is the land so why are there still beautiful you you can see there's costco there's uh, uh, um hilton here because of the location even though the building itself is old but they love the location look at this other one here is more new than the other one right what's going on so it's more new than the other one I, did you get value today guys if you got value type i got value i got value guys if you got value type i got value i got value talk to me guys don't just look at me don't look at me like that did you get value have you learned something okay have you learned something if you learn something type i learned something i got value i got value come on if you learn something type i learned something i got value i got value Talk to me, guys. If you learn something, tap. I learn something. I got value. I got value. I'm not seeing your comments. Is it me? Oh, beautiful. So, okay, I can see a lot of you say you got value. You got value. Beautiful. 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 So, how many of you are going to buy, uh, have made up your mind you're going to own a mini estate? Okay? If you are interested in owning a mini estate, type. I want to own a mini estate. Come on, guys. I want to see your comment. If you are interested in owning a mini estate, type mini estate. Okay? If you are interested in owning a mini estate, type, I'm going to own a mini estate. Okay? I want, you are any language in the video. Right? Where I come from, the word says that you, as you decree it, it becomes your portion. Right? Your tongue has to be used and engaged to decree the things that you want to see in your life so understand and leverage on your tongue decree it say what you want to see speak it i want to own my own mini estate i want to own my own mini estate i can do it i can have it and then so you see it so i'm going to take a few questions from you guys if you have questions for me on how to own a mini estate Please let me know. So, but I've done a good job today to teach you, to you a sample of one. Because sometimes uh, when we're still at the face of land banking, and we're talking of mini estates. Well, this is the entire look from the front, right? Can you see? All this is part of it that goes way to the back, right? So I've shown you a sample of how a mini estate can look like. This is how many story one two three four five six seven eight so this is like an eight-story mini estate here in london heart of london uh Kensington, and you can see how beautiful it is and um, so you now see an example where we talk about owning a mini estate that you can start with a land banking with land banking to buy, buy the debt buy the land have a good image and good vision a good plan of how you eventually okay or how the estate will look like when it's fully developed and then over time okay over time the estate becomes fully developed feel free guys to um chat uh, ask me any question if you have and remember share this video as many times as you can share 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 hit the share button and get as many people as possible. Um, I love to teach, I love to share knowledge, I love to mentor, and I'm glad that you've learned a thing or two from this live show. So let me see, do you have questions for me? If you have questions, just type your question. I'm gonna ask you joining me from. Okay, well, 
you may be wondering what am I looking at. I'm looking at a construction site. Um, I love seeing construction. So this is Olympia National Entrance. Um, you can see a massive construction going on here. I love moving around construction sites and seeing. Uh, um, uh, you know, I want to build massive skyscrapers, build massive everywhere in the world. So I love to, and, and it's a powerful principle, it's called law of attraction. Whatever it is you're trying to do and you desire to do, always move around places where it's happening. Um, it enters your mind, it enters your subconscious. Okay, it's how you attract wealth. So, for example, you want to start own a mini estate. It doesn't start with you buying it. It starts with you, you know, chewing all the videos Dr. Steven has ever done on mini estates. Just watch all of them. Just let your mind, because whatever your mind conceive, you will achieve. Let me say that again. Whatever your mind can conceive, you will achieve. So wealth begins from conception, right? You have to, con you know get the concept first and then it's a matter of time then it becomes achieved it becomes realized but the conception is the toughest part but that's the beginning of wealth creation you start with a concept you start with a concept so you can see again what we keep talking about uh, for those of you who are my real estate student if those of you who are attending my real estate coaching program i always to told you that one of the things to use to know a good location for land banking is what transportation okay transportation is one of the strategies to use to know land banking so here you wonder why that mini estate was situated here you know why this is a train line can you see the Kensington olympia train line so meaning for people who live in that mini estate i just showed you okay they will just drop from the train here and just walk to their house so because that land is close to the uh, Kensington Olympia train line, okay, the value of the property, boom, goes up because nearness to transportation, transportation facility is part of how you locate or how you understand a good location that is good for land banking. So people always tell me, Dr. See, how do I know a good location for land banking? How do I know a good location to buy? right this train station is one of the reasons and it's being reconstructed right now okay so every every land close to this train station is gold so when you want to do land bank you're looking we just launch um white house money why did we buy that land okay white house money is close to the what to the train station in ibadan the train, the money, the train station in Ibadan is in Monia. Okay, there's a dry port in that same location as well, um, and there's even a proposed there's business district. There's a district uh, um, um, line coming in in terms of road. So because of all this, you know, infrastructure, we decided to you know buy massive estate there, and we launched it. Uh, we did our location this Saturday, and we just even played the video for you. So, are you seeing, are you learning, guys? Come on, don't look at me. Just tell me if you're getting value. Are you learning? So, any property close to uh, the, 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 the train station, right? Once any real estate close to the train station, the value goes up. Any property close to the express road, that's why every property we buy, we try to make sure they're on the, on the third road or... Uh, you know, 300, 200, 400 uh, meters from the third road, so that we we'll then do interlocking straight to the third road, and we we'll up the value almost at the same as the third road. Okay, are you learning? If you are learning, type I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm still waiting for you guys. If you have questions for me, feel free to ask. Uh, I'm still waiting to you know get your questions. I'm just doing my evening work. And I decided to bring this training on showing you a sample mini estate. Okay, so you can see how it looks like. I'm not if you are in London, by the way. If you are in London, type I'm in London, I'm in London. If you are in London, type I'm in London. Okay, 
um, you don't want to miss the Global Wealth Festival London. It's taking place this coming Saturday, 17th of September. Conference start 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Dinner is 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, the Queen Burial has made it that this coming Monday is a banker's holiday. And so you have no pressure of saying, oh, it's a holiday this Saturday, Sunday, and Monday coming. So you have a long holiday and you can create time to come and empower your mind, uh, okay, and, and change your mind. Because wealth creation begins with the mind. If you can sit down, okay, and have a mental intercourse with those who have succeeded, you're on your way to success because you are going to be, con you will conceive that day. Oh, <laughs> I promise you, okay, if you want to become wealthy, you need to have a mental intercourse with those who are wealthy. And your conception starts and it's a matter of time you're going to give back to a bouncing wealth <laughs> you're going to give back to wealth so for those of you watching me uh you want to go to global wealth festival globalwealthfestival.com and get your ticket or go to eventbrite and get your ticket and you have a 30 percent discount Okay, Global Wealth Festival. The 30% discount ends today or so, I'm not sure, but I think it's ending soon. Uh, that was the way some of you missed the 50% discount that ended already. Okay, so go to the website globalwealthfestival.com. Okay, use the coupon code LONDON and um, you'll be part of that. I'm going to be sharing with you at the event how I started with just $10. I wasn't from a rich home, okay? And I built an empire, you know, across the globe. And you can do the same, oh. You can do the same. You know, you can do the same. Um, you just need to follow the rules that we have used. I always tell people success leaves clue. Right? Just look for those who have done it, follow their principles, and you're your way there. Some of you are in London. If you're in London type, I'm in London. I also, for those of you who are not in London, the event is global. It's going to be streamed live. So even if you're not in London, you can attend the event virtually. Okay? So you can sign up and click the virtual option, buy the virtual option ticket, and you're on your way to learning and changing your life forever okay forever and ever oh i can see uh jerus firi is in london jerus how are you i hope you're coming who else is in london and is coming mj says i'm in london mj okay good good so i will do you guys a f something good for all of you watching me live right now not don't come back to me later only those of you who are watching go and send me a dm at dr s akinta on instagram i will give you a further discount for the event okay for those of you who are live here right now now if you watch this two hours later you know one day later this does not apply to you this is only for those of you who are watching me live right now and you're currently in london and you are willing to come send me a dm on instagram not here go to my instagram at dr s at, no no my instagram is steven akinta one word so go to my instagram steven akinta one word is a verify handle it has a blue tick send me a dm just say hey i watch you live um on facebook and you ask me to send you a dm i'll give you a further discount that is more than the 30 percent discount but you have to take the rule is you have to take advantage of it right away so if i give you that exceptional opportunity go and use it immediately so for all of you are in london right now only this only apply for those of you who are coming for the fiscal event right if you're attending virtually just go use the coupon code and get your 30 percent discount but for those of you who want to come physically, you want to attend physically, 
okay send me uh, a dm on instagram right at steven akintayo on instagram send me a dm right now and let me know i'll give you a further discount i will not disclose it in public what further discount i'll give you but i'll give you a further discount and you'll be able to get your ticket right now i promise you it's going to be a life-changing experience i'll be sharing with you i started my business with just ten dollars and we're in four continents of the world uh in 14 years it wasn't easy okay and we build assets running to hundreds of millions uh particularly in real estate industry and I wasn't born rich. I wasn't from a rich home. Um, and trust me, I know what poverty is. <laughs> and that's why I hate poverty. And I don't even wish my enemy to be poor. Okay? And uh, I don't want poverty even on my enemies. I don't even want my enemies to be poor. If I have a, a joke, that if your enemies are rich, they won't have your time. The reason why some people hate you is because they are poor. Poverty creates idleness okay when people are poor they 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 hate much right i i can't even i don't even have because it takes idleness poverty and idleness work together okay and it is when you are idle you ruminate you think over what somebody did against you the wickedness and all of that and then the hatred continues to grow when your enemies are rich okay they will not have your time okay <laughs> they will not and so you will live a good life okay you live a good life uh, <laughs> that's why in this part of the world people are fighting each other yet they will go have coffee of a cup of tea with their lawyer okay and the lawyer you know prepare the contract and everybody signs and we, we move on even though we're enemies okay but in Africa, where there's so much poverty, you see people wish their enemy dead. They, they are willing to poison the enemy if possible. <laughs> so you have too much enemy because you're poor, or your enemies are poor. Uh, so I don't even want poverty on my enemy. And when you look at the cost of living crisis right now, even the, in, in Europe, uh, even here in London, energy crisis, what people are having to pay for energy because of Ukraine war is crazy. What people are having to pay for rent. Here in London, you know, people struggle to pay for rent because what you are earning versus what you need to pay to live in a decent accommodation is ridiculous. Okay? But guess what? Why be a tenant when you can own it? Why? Why? Why be a tenant when you can own it? I say this a lot for many people who just want to be agents. Don't be an agent. Own it. Own it. Okay? Invest in owning. And it's not difficult to own properties in this part of the world. Okay? They've made sure it's a lot easier. And you're going to be learning a lot more than that. A lot of property experts are part of the panelists. You, you're going to be meeting great speakers at the event. It's a life-changing conference. Your life will never remain the same. Guaranteed. It will never remain the same it will never remain the same so i look forward to seeing you this saturday okay here in london or virtually don't miss it tell your enemies tell your friends tell everybody the global wealth festival london is a must for every single one Dele Mamadou is flying down from nigeria for this event this man started with about twenty thousand pounds ovation magazine right if i cnn had to sign with him to use his pictures when he when queen of england visited nigeria because he's he's the only one that had a good record of uh, you know with the good images of the queen when she visited nigeria okay but that business as a global business that documents wealthiest people in the world that business started with just twenty thousand pounds how he did is going to be telling you okay uh daniel moses is going to be sharing with you i was an uber driver here in london uber driver and today he owns over seven million pounds worth of real estate own and he owned them free he's going to be sharing with a secret how he owns over seven million pounds worth of real estate for free here in the uk and he started as an uber driver so what's your excuse ladies and gentlemen what is your excuse for not building wealth and for not becoming rich 
You have no excuse, ladies and gentlemen. You have none. None. Right? You're going to be meeting Alexandra Musso. This guy invented, you know, the ringtone. You know, before now, when GSM came out, the tone you hear is just tan 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 tan, tan like a piano sound. If you can hear me type, I can hear you. Guys, come on, talk to me. If you can hear me type, I can hear you. If you can hear me type, I can hear you. So the concept of being able to play when people call you, they hear Kiss Daniel's song, Buga, or they hear uh, Davido's song, right? Assurance and all those stuff started by this gentleman called Alexandra Musu. Okay? He started it. It's in Guinness Book of Record for the most expensive suit in the world. Right? I think also for the most expensive phone. Gold-plated phones. Right? This guy built wealth here in the United Kingdom. With all the racism, with all the challenges, he became wealthy here. And he's going to be sharing with you how he made it. What he did. The principle that got him there. And we have several other speakers. We have Pastor Toby, you know, uh, who is also going to be sharing with you how he's taking people out of drugs, taking young people out of crime, and helping them to become entrepreneurs and building businesses for them. He will share. You can ask him questions. Even if you disagree with him, you have an opportunity to ask him. I, 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 I disagree with you on this. I heard this about you. And, and I was sharing with somebody who was telling me, why bring Pastor Toby? I said, look, in Africa, our culture, we've lost them. In Africa, we were majorly hunters, farmers and hunters. So you come back to the village and you bring the largest animal ever hunted. What do the elders do? They will create like the tales by moonlight. Everybody sits down and then they ask you a question. Young man, how were you able to kill the biggest animal? And then you explain the process to the elders. If you can hear me tap, I can hear you guys. Someone say you can't hear me. Maybe it's his network. If you can hear me tap, I can hear you. Okay? So you explain to everybody in the village the principles you use to catch the biggest, you know, animal ever. To hunt down the biggest animal. So for me, we need to get back to that root. Rather than hating people or 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 judging based on what you hear, why not meet them and ask them, how did you do it? Tell me your principles. Tell me your, your story. Tell me how you did it. And that's what the Global Wealth Festival is about. It's about people coming to share how they made it legitimately and you being able to ask them tough questions. Because you see, the richest people in Africa don't write books. They don't attend seminars. They don't teach. They don't pass on the knowledge of how they made it. The Queen of England just died. See how she's mentored uh, uh, King Charles the Third for over 70 years. He's been mentored, he's been prepared for this day when his mother will die. That's how the, 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 the whites have been able to pass on wealth from one generation to the other. Ladies and gentlemen, are you aware that the Queen of England owns 6.6 .6 billion acres of properties all over the world? If you're aware, tap I'm aware. If you're not aware, tap I'm not aware. I'm going to, by the way, I'm going to do a video on this either today or tomorrow. How the Queen of England owns 6.6 .6 billion acres of property. She also has another extra 750 million dollars tax-free that's going to be passed on to Prince, to King Charles. Hey, yeah. Uh, Hey, Africans, we need to learn how to build wealth. And we need to learn how to transfer that wealth from one generation to the other. We need to learn how to train our children not to squander the wealth, not to throw it away, but that the wealth begin to grow and expand and increase from one generation to the other. That is what we need to do. And if we hate racism, if we hate all of that we've heard and all we've seen, and all the stigmatization and stereotypes, okay? We must understand that it is the person with the booba, with the ego, with the money, with the owo, with the kudi, right? That has the power to change things. 
we cannot change jack with poverty we cannot change the world without resources without wealth without money okay if you own this estate now okay this mini estate i just showed you can the tenant become racist to you when you are the owner okay he will look for a new house <laughs> okay if you own this mini estate i just showed you can the tenant become a racist to you when you are the owner right except he has a new house he's moving to so when we are serious about ending stigmatization among africans and black people people of color we should also add teaching people of color how to make money we should also add teaching people of color how to build wealth we should also add teaching people of color how to you know transfer wealth from one generation to the other we should be passionate about that not just sensational talks and sensationalizing conversations we need to think deeper and think of how wealth can move on from one generation to the other ladies and gentlemen how many of you are excited seeing me first of all how many of you are excited because i'm excited seeing myself <laughs> okay i'm excited seeing myself and i'm excited being able to come here and share uh, out of my wealth of knowledge with you guys and i hope you don't just listen i hope you do something about it i hope you take action I hope you make the decision because knowledge does not make you rich. Okay? It is knowledge that you act on that makes you wealthy. It is knowledge that you it is the action that builds wealth. Thank you so much, Prophet Joshua. He says, so so happy to see you. Thank you. I'm happy to see you to, to, to see you as well, right? Thank you everybody. I love you all. And I want to thank you so much for watching this episode of my live broadcast make moves attend the global world festival london i cannot wait to see you all i love you all bye 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 <laughs>